Hello everyone and welcome to yet another video of GIPL technical series where we take you through different technical advancements, features of development tools as well as different concepts used in our software development field. Today, we will be talking about another important feature of SQL Server reporting services that helps us make development of complex reports pretty easy and manageable. I'm talking about the sub-reports. We shall take you through the concept of sub-report, how to generate it and integrate it with the parent report to get your data as per the format you have planned for. Before we start with our topic, I would like to give you some information about me and GIPL. I'm Krupa Dhu and I'm working as a senior software engineer with GIPL. GIPL is a government organization. We provide IT and IT-enabled services to different government organizations. We provide informative videos about government software and latest technological tutorials. Before we start with the tutorial, if you are new to our channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss out on any of our new videos. Right, let's get back to our sub-report. First of all, what exactly is a sub-report? A sub-report is a report that is used to display a subset data that is in relation or in context to the details of the main or the parent report. Let's understand this with an example. Here we have employee details of different district branches of a bank. Let's take any XYZ bank and assume that it has its branches in two districts and I want the details of each employee branch wise. Such kind of a data can be shown like this easily. Here we can say that these are the branches and their individual employee counts. And here is the list of employee for each branch. Now to simplify, we can say that the district branch names and the employee count is the master data or the main report data. And this is the detailed data related to the master data, which in other words is known as a sub-report. But how can we generate such a report with our SQL tables and SSR dynamically? Because here, if we use a single query and bind it to a simple tabular report to generate this data, you have to be a master in grouping feature of SSRs. Or there is a simpler approach to this and we call them the sub-reports. This feature of SSRs allows us to add multiple reports in one report or in other words we can say that we can list one report inside another which reduces the complexity of grouping feature as i explained earlier it also saves from writing complex sql queries sub reports can take parameters and execute their own data sets in fact in ssrs you can execute a sub report on its own it has a good impact on the performance of the report as well. One thing to take care of is that there has to be a unique parameter or a column that is in common to the data sets of both. The main report and the sub report so that they can connect or talk to each other. Now before we start creating the report, let's take a look at the table structure in the database. I have taken the same example that we used before and this is the table data. This is our district master and here we have the employee details saved for each employee working in five different branches. Now this query here gives the data of a main report. That is the district branch list and its employee count. And now, as we saw earlier, that our report, a sub-report, will contain the employee details for each branch, right? So here is the query for that. We will have to pass a common parameter to the query. We have used the district ID as a relation key in our table structure. So we will be passing the district ID from our main report to the sub-report to fetch the data branch-wise. So you can see that there is no complex logic used in these queries. Fine. Now, apart from tables, we will also require a data source and a data set to connect to the database and create the report. 
we also need to have a basic understanding of the grouping feature of SSRS. We have already published videos describing these terms and how to use them while creating a report. So if you are new to SSRS, then please refer those videos first. I have mentioned all the links in the description. Alright, now let's start with the report. Here I have my report builder open. We will have to create two reports. One is the main report and other will be the sub report. We shall further see how both the reports will get integrated and talk to each other. We will first create the main report. As we have already seen in our previous videos, we can choose from the wizard method or simply use a blank report like we are to do now. File, new, blank report. We shall have to first declare our data source. Right click on the data source, add data source. If you do not have a shared data source, then please create one of shared or embedded type. I've already created a shared data source, so we'll be using it. Now, we'll be inserting a table to the report. So go to the insert menu and insert table. Insert table. After clicking, bring your cursor to the report area and click there. It will ask for a data set now. Now first select the data source that has to be used. And then we will be pasting the query that we created for the main report here. Now click on OK. As you can see, a simple tabular structure has been generated. Now let's add our data fields in the table first. We do not require the third column, so we'll be deleting it first. District names and the employee count. Now let's format it a bit. There, the main report is ready. Let's create a sub report now so that you can get a clear idea about the integration part. Let's open another instance of Report Builder and select a blank report again. Declare a data source and insert a table. Now here we will be pasting a sub-report query. OK. And our table is ready. We will add our data fields to show the employee details now. Employee name, designation, and the gender. Right. Now let's format it a bit. Now we do not require any header or footer in our sub report, so we'll be removing them. And remove all the extra space so that it fits properly in our main report. Right. Now, as I said earlier, we can run a sub report separately also. Let's run it once. And check the data is as per our requirement or not. Enter your parameter value. View report. There. This is the employee data for one of our district branches. 
Let's save the report now. Now comes the integration part and here is where we need to concentrate. Let's get back to our main report. Now if we wish to create a report like so, then we have to add another row in our report and integrate the sub-report in it. Right click on the details row and insert a row inside the group as we require the sub-report to generate for each row of district branch. Right click, insert row inside and below the group. Right. According to our format, the sub report will be added here. Now to integrate a sub report, right click in the cell and select insert sub report. Insert Report. You can see a sub report is added in the cell. We still need to configure the properties of this report, so right click on the sub report and select sub report properties. Give reference of our sub report. Now click on parameters. Now here we need to add parameters of both the reports through which they will talk to each other. So click on add. Here name is the query parameter of the sub report. That is district ID. And in value select the data field of the main report that you need to send as a parameter value to the sub report. In our case, it is district type. That's it. Click on OK. And the integration is done. Again, you can format the report as required. Right, let's run the report now. There, the same report like the one we had planned for. You can make it more attractive and viewable by using different formatting options. We will soon be making a video on it too. So friends, you see how simple it is to create and configure a sub-report that too with flat data. You do not require any complex queries for this. So that's it for now friends. Please share your views and doubts in our comment section. We will be happy to acknowledge them. Hope all this information was helpful to you. For any IT and IT enabled services, you can contact GIPL. Details are shown on the screen. If you like our video, please hit the like button and share with your family and friends. Thank you for watching and we shall meet you soon in our next video. Till then, stay home, stay safe and take very good care of yourself.